Hi kiddos, welcome to this week's episode of Brush Rust with Dakita, supported by Wells Fargo. I'm Dakita Frazier, the resident artist for the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Houston. In this week's episode, we're going to tackle a different type of art. I have on my apron today because it's going to get a little messy. For today's project, we're going to learn how to make our own homemade Play-Doh. So I'm going to go over the material you'll need for this project. We have water, salt, flour, food coloring, spoons, and a measuring cup. All right, guys, let's get started. So the first step is pouring our flour into the bowl. So we're going to measure out one cup of flour. And it's going to get a little messy. But okay, we're going to have to shake it off a little bit. So this is one cup of flour. So you'll place it into your bowl. The next step will be salt. You'll need half a cup of salt. And just tap it so you can make sure you measure it the right amount and you'll dump that in as well then we'll need a half a cup of water now if this is not enough water you can keep adding water until you get the texture that you desire so we're going to mix all our ingredients together And if it becomes too loose, you'll probably need to add more flour. Probably just a half a cup of flour. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna need more flour. And dry out my measuring cup. Just because I want to get the consistency I want. So it's going to be really messy, guys. So you know. So you can play around with it. You want to make sure all your ingredients are getting mixed in there. And you see how it's still a little sticky. So we still need some flour. So you can just add more flour to it. So get in there, mix it all together. And I'm still feeling it, but it's sticky, so I wanna pour a little flour in there and mix it all together. Cause I don't want it to stick to my hands. It, you should be able to roll it and not hear a sound. So you hear that now? Can't hear anything. All right, so once we get our Play-Doh to a a great consistency then you can add whatever color you want 
food coloring wise. I think I'm gonna try a red one. your hands before you're doing this that way you can get all the excess um, material that you use to make your play-doh it's turning pink for me guys which is cool and if it's still feeling a little sticky after you um, Add it dye into it. Just wrap with some more of your flour to add into it. There it goes. And place it over your bowl so you won't get it all over your table. Alright, so now my play-doh is beginning to look pink. And you can add different colors again. You have your primary colors. Where you can use uh, blue and red to make purple, yellow and green, and uh, yellow and blue will make green. You'll have to make brown, blue, red, and yellow. And voila, we've made our homemade plate Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you had fun making your own Play-Doh. Tune in to the next episode of Brushstrokes with Dakita, supported by Wells Fargo.